Hi, Linda Kanase here to share with you a fun and simple project using the Fujifilm Instax Mini 8 photos and my mini photo embellishing dies from Sizzix. Let me show you what we're going to make. Let me show you my inspiration piece. This is using many of the Tim Holtz hardware pieces, a vintage ruler, and photos, of course, of my wonderful dog. And I also created a second sample using more current products that you could find on the market. A ruler with three holes, binder clips, some ribbon, and again using some brighter papers and embellishments that are just more playful. So let me show you the supplies you'll need. You'll need the banner die, the paper clippables die, the photo frame and words, photo frame and props, photo frame holiday, and the mini album die. You'll also need adhesives, roller, and liquid. You'll need an optional bone folder, ribbon, washi tape, and then you want to find a ruler that has the three holes drilled in it. You want binder clips, and if you want to do something a little fancier, you could find fancier binder clips and fancier paper clips as well. You need to select your papers, and then you'll need your three Fujifilm Instax Mini 8 photos, and of course you'll need a big shot machine. So the first thing I want to share with you is how to use the interchangeable words and borders inside the frame. This is what I did to create this word happy inside this framework. So what you want to do first is to get your frame and you have this smaller opening on the bottom and you place that there and then you have the word and it's backwards so you just want to make sure it's facing the correct direction that you want it to. You lay it down towards what would be the bottom of the frame and then you take a piece of washi tape you don't have to but it holds it much nicer in the spot that you want and then we're going to make a Sizzix sandwich and we're going to run it through the machine in one go and when you peel it off the center part will fall out and that's always good to use as a label or something on a project you remove your washi tape, then you peel out the word, and you end up with the word coming out of the frame. Now you'll notice that there, the contrast is hard to see what it's reading, so you would also want to cut out these little strips of a darker color just, and glue it to the back of each of these words. And if you're using a darker paper, you can use a white piece of strip colored paper back there or if it's a very dark background you could actually leave it blank when you put it on top of your photo. So let me show you another technique. So on this particular project I placed a two-sided tab up here and I wanted to share with you how I made that because the die itself can make a one-sided tab but if you wanted to use it like on a planner or something where you want a little more dimension, you can use it for that as well. To do that, you want to take a piece of paper and fold it in half. And you want to, this is when the bone folder comes in very handy. You could use it to make a very nice crease. You take your die. You want the die blade to go slightly over the fold. And again, you may use a piece of washi tape to hold it in place when you do the cut. And then we're going to run it through the Big Shot machine. And I'm going to roll it back because it's cutting through two pieces of paper and I just want to make sure. And so now you have a folded tab. And then I'm going to add it to this, to this project so that it looks almost like a clipboard look. So now I'm going to show you a little trick on how to use washi tape to make the paper clippable bow as seen here. What I'm going to do is use some washi tape on white cardstock. And the reason I'm doing this is because sometimes you have the perfect color washi tape that you want to use in the project and you don't have that particular color of paper. So the washi tape works really well. Plus it comes in smaller patterns, which works great for these smaller bows. So what you want to do is take a piece of white cardstock and you want to do several rows of the washi tape and you want to align it so that it almost looks like or you try to make it look like a solid pattern. Then you want to take your die and lay it on top and we're going to 
make a physics sandwich and put it through the machine again. And what you will get are these three really nice little pieces. And I always use my Sizzix die pick and I create a little curve to it. So once you have it curled, you take your glue and you add a little dab in the center here and you start folding it over. And you hold it in place and you put another dab and you don't want to press down on the fold because it will ruin the curve. So you want, and you want a quick drying glue. So you just hold it like that until it's dry. And I always flip it over. And then I put a dab of glue on the center of this back side. And I lay this centered in the middle there and let that dry. And meanwhile, you could take your paper clip and what you're going to do, and you could put it anywhere you want on the paper clip, but you want to think about it sliding in uh, behind your paper so you don't want to catch two sides where it will not go under. So you take this smaller tap and you put a dab of glue in the center again. And you lay that right in the middle, let that dry. And then you will fold it over and fold that over. And on the back here is where you will add your paper clip. And again, you can add it here so it catches like that and then glue that again. Now that you have everything layered and assembled onto the banners, it's now time for the fun part of cutting the embellishment. And because they're so nice and small, they're easy to do all in one pass through the Big Shot machine. So you could just layer it all in pieces. Some of these papers have adhesive backing that I already applied to it because they are so tiny. And some I could just add a dab of glue and then apply it to the photos. Hope you enjoy this project. Thanks for watching.